Hey everybody, welcome back for another review. Today I'm gonna to be talking about another fall collection. I'm gonna be talking about the Olive and June Layer Up collection for this year, 2023. And I have to say that three of these shades are sold out. I'm a little bit behind on my video, so I apologize. Some of these polishes are limited edition, not all of them. And so those are the ones, some of them that are sold out. And I'll mention as I go through the video with each polish, which shades are sold out, just so that you are aware. And I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Wish I would have got this out sooner, but I was a little busy this summer. They are a few good shades, but hopefully when you look at comparisons, you'll be able to see one or two that are kind of similar and you can maybe have those in your collections or get those so you don't completely miss out because there are a few that are kind of similar to other polishes that I have. I apologize, I'm a little bit behind. I also just received their fall winter quick dry polish box. There are so many polishes in here, you guys. I'm going to have to go through it, but I'm going to try to get this one up fairly quickly. Oh man, it's just just a lot, a lot to swatch. I mean, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve polishes. So, anyway, oh, one's oozing out. I'll have to figure that out. I'll try to get that out quickly. So, if there's any that you like in there, you can grab them. I need to take care of a little bit of business first. I have a giveaway that I did in my last review, the OPI Holiday Collection. Amanda Glass, you are the winner for the new SE Fall Collection. I will get that sent to you as soon as possible. Thanks to everyone who entered. Thanks so much for all your nice comments. I read through every single one and I really appreciate it. And thanks for making me feel nice about my lipstick. On my nails, I am wearing Chillum with Kindness and I love it. It's this nice kind of little sparkly shade. I know a lot of you were surprised that I was really liking the sparkles. Who am I? But I do like them for the holiday. But this one was really purely just for fun. When I went to the Taylor Swift Eras movie and so it was really fun to wear and I just still have it on. My lipstick is Cream Cut by MAC and a NYX lip liner and I will add that and I will also add a link to this sweater. I love it so much. I found it at Down East. It's got a little collar and it's this beautiful kind of soft pink color. Okay, let's get into the review. I have the Olive and June collection here. There are seven polishes. One is a topper and one is shimmery. So the rest are all creams and a lot of these are kind of like curly-ish creams, which I was really liking with this collection especially for fall I love those kind of squishy jelly polishes so let's talk about them first up is it's chili and it's your pretty much basic beige nude shade so I really like it the formulas like I said a little bit squishy and a little gelish so it's gonna take three coats to build up it just is and remember with Olive and June it does take a little bit more drying time whenever I swatch this I'm like oh I forget these need just a little bit more drying time especially when they're kind of crelly like that and crelly is a combination of just a cream and a jelly a jelly which is pretty much like a see-through polish and then a cream which is like completely opaque and thick and buildable and then crelly is kind of a mix of those two so you're gonna get a build up mostly in two coats sometimes three but it's gonna give that kind of squishy look so I get a lot of questions about what that really means so hopefully that is helpful so I like this one it's pretty much just an off-white so let's look at the comparisons for this one I compared it to LHG which is part of the Olive and June line and that one's lighter and brighter and more white that's the closest that I had at least in my collection and then in my sandbox is very close to this shade but of course in my sandbox is a little more opaque so they are a little bit different you get a little bit of a different look but that's the same color tone and then OPI my vampire buff is also a very similar color tone but I don't think it's like exactly the same. So that should give you an idea of the color tone of this one. But like I said, this one is a little bit different because it's more of a crelly -ish formula. It's going to look squishy, like I've said a million times. But anyway, I liked this one quite a bit. I love these neutrals in the fall. I've been wearing them a lot right now. And that one is still available. Then we have two shades that are pretty similar. So I'm going to talk about this lighter one first. And then there's this other one that's like this kind of mauve shade, but it's a little bit more brown leaning. So they're kind of purpley mauves and I like them both. So the lighter one is Can I Borrow a Sweater and it's a beautiful light mauve shade and I love the formula on this one. It's really really nice. It's crelly so you're going to need those three coats but man it just looks so beautiful and shiny and squishy on the nail and it's oh so fun. So you'll see it building up here and it's just I don't know I just love that look so much and I love this color for fall it's just a beautiful beautiful shade I do think I like this darker one a little bit better just because there's a little bit more contrast on my skin both of these actually reminded me of one of my favorite polishes last year I don't know if you guys remember I was really into transition piece from Essie gel couture line it's kind of the brown mauve shade but it did have just a little bit of shimmer in it which made it kind of really glowy it is beautiful if you guys haven't gotten that one get it I will try to link it down below hopefully it's still available 
available. I think it should be, but man, that one's so fun. And it just reminded me to pull that one out. I really need to wear that sometime soon this fall before it gets too cold outside because I feel like it's a good transition polish. But let's look at that because I compared that one to both of these polishes just so you could see where it fit. And so here are the comparisons. It was really hard for me to find comparisons for this one because one, the formula is a little bit different. And then two, it's a little bit lighter than some that I have. And so I do really feel like this one is unique. So I compared it, as you can see, to Transition Peas. And that one's a little bit more brown, but you can see how beautiful that is. And you can see just a slight subtle shimmer in there. And it is just so good. And then Essie Taupe of the Line is more nude. And then OPI you've got that glass glow is more of like a pink purple, but I felt like in the bottles, these were like close, but when I got them on the nail, they didn't, they didn't look as close as I thought. And so that's kind of a weird comparison swatch because I was thinking, why did I compare these? They're not even close, but I literally pulled out so many polishes and I feel like these are the ones that are closest. So I feel like this one's pretty unique unless I'm missing something. And I feel really bad because this is one of the ones that sold out. Hopefully they'll get more in. Sometimes they do that. This does not say limited edition so you might still be able to get this one and then the darker one is Shacket, and I love the name for that one I think it's so fun I love this whole layer up idea with the collection and this is just a little bit deeper it's kind of a purple mop but it does have a little bit of brown in it and there's a little bit more contrast with my skin tone so I like this one better it's same thing you're gonna oh it's so close I think to two coats but I think you're gonna need three so so good okay let's compare these so I compared it to transition piece that one is very very similar but it's a little bit lighter and then rooting for you which I loved was that last year or maybe two years ago I can't remember that one's very close but that formula is very opaque I mean you're gonna get that polish opaque in one beautiful coat it has maybe a touch more red but man I love both of these that one was kind of hard to find too that was a target exclusive from the belief in yourself collection if I remember correctly ah, so maybe you can find that somehow how, I don't know. Both of these are amazing. All, every polish on my hand in this comparison is amazing. <laughs> and then Angora Cardi is even more red, purple, and a little bit deeper and richer. And of course, it's just an opaque cream. It doesn't have this sheer formula. So of course, this one is sold out to you guys. I feel lame. Hopefully you have a good enough eye for polish that you saw this collection before and just snagged it because I knew I liked this one when I first saw the collection. So hopefully you got it. Okay, this next one, don't laugh at me because I'm old, but this is first PSL. I thought that was paid sick leave. <laughs> I think it's pumpkin spice latte. I'm just an idiot, but I had to like look it up because I'm just old, you guys. <laughs> Bear with me. So I'm assuming it's pumpkin spice latte. This is like a chrome pumpkin shade. And so I think this one's really fun. It's not a polish that I would wear. I'm just going to be honest. It's a really like yellow toned orange. And then it has this chromey shimmer in here that's kind of like a raspberry, I want to say. A raspberry orange. It's definitely unique. I have nothing like this, so I didn't do any comparisons for it. And this one is so out you guys this was a limited edition it just got snagged up you guys must like these <laughs> but I just don't and that's okay so anyway sorry it's sold out I feel so stupid next time I'll be a little faster I promise <laughs> then we have this beautiful blue called favorite beanie love the name and love this polish this is the polish when I first saw the collection that I was like I love that so so much and there's quite a few shades like this that companies have been coming out with in the last couple years. And I love every single one and I feel like they're all a little bit different. And I love that this one has that same kind of Crelly formula. So it's gonna be a little bit buildable. I think you're gonna need three coats with this one too. Let me check my notes. No, this one says it's a little thicker and I wrote two coats. You might need three depending on how you apply it, but I think you would probably be good with two. This one is perfection. It's like a grayed out muted blue. I know you're going to be curious to see how it compares to other polishes, so let's get into that. Of course, the formula on this is going to be different than all of these, so it's definitely unique. So we have Test the Waters from Morgan Taylor. These were the closest that I found, so I just pulled them out. And that one is lighter and it has more white in the base. It's just a little bit different feel. And then Essie Toned Down, I thought would be like exactly the same as that one. And I was surprised that it was more close to Anchor Down, which is darker. They're pretty much the same, but of course they're gonna be a little bit different because the formula is different. So if you love Olive in June and you like the Anchor Down color from Essie, then this is a good one to get. I was surprised to find that this one is still available. So 
I want you to go ahead and get it. This squishy look of this is amazing and you're gonna want it. Get it before it's gone. Then we have Lux Loafer and it's this nice, rich, purpley, like kind of eggplant shade that is very popular this time of year and a shade that I love to wear as it gets colder and colder. So this is such a nice one. Same thing, the formula is really rich and inky, but kind of crelly-ish. So it's gonna take, I would say three coats for this one just to have it be fully opaque in all the areas just because it's darker and you can see those little areas that didn't have as good coverage a little better when the colors are a little bit darker and so this one's really pretty it was hard to do comparisons for this one just because there's a lot of colors like this and when you, the darker you go it's harder to see the differences I can see them in my bright light though so um, let's talk through these but I compared it to Obsessed which is also from the Olive and June line and that one's more raspberry and a little bit lighter and then I pulled out the Essie Classic Wicked and that one's a little bit deeper but I feel like the color tones in all these are pretty similar it's a little more purple leaning but it also is a little bit plum and then good girls gone plaid is also deeper but they all have kind of the similar feel so I feel like this is the deepest and darkest that all of in June has at least that I have in my collection I don't have all of their polishes so I might be missing a few but I think this one's really great to have here in the all of in June line next we have sparkle shawl and this is a beautiful confetti with like silver iridescent slivers in there so this one's a little fun it's very sparkly and glittery I put it on top of of Lux loafer just so you could really see how it looked on top of something and man it is really pretty when you move your finger around and you can just see those glittering and sparkling in the light and it really did have a cool effect so I think a lot of you are gonna like this one especially if you like toppers I don't wear toppers very often but I thought this one was actually really cool and I feel like it added like a really cool depth to the nail and so I liked it and this one is still available as well okay so I have to pick my favorites and I'm just gonna picked these three you guys ah these two are sold out this one is not so if you want it definitely go ahead and get it if I had to choose between these two I would definitely say I like this darker one shack it better unfortunately though this is the limited edition one and this one can I borrow a sweater is not and so this might come back and stop if it's not limited edition I'm sure that it will so keep your eyes out for that this one unfortunately won't because it does say limited edition on it thanks so much for watching and being here with me for another review. I'm going to go ahead and get that Olive and June review up quickly and then I think I'm going to dive into my favorite blue polishes right now. I love to wear blue in the fall. I also love to wear brown in the fall as it gets colder. So I'm going to do blue first and then brown. Hopefully I can get to that. It's a lot. <laughs> but I'm going to try to get that done as well as a few other fall collections that I have. Thanks so much for being patient with me this month and we will see you guys in my next review. Bye. <music>